just gonna need some onions. kitchen with the gypsy and we're gonna show you how she makes her famous yes I said famous cheese ball man this is like a family favorite from multiple families every holiday I gotta have Tammy's cheese ball it's pretty simple uh, I know there's a lot of different cheese balls out there but if you follow this it's gonna be a winner I'm telling you so let's check it out she starts with cream cheese now normally you make it with one one cheese ball takes what one package of cream cheese two the ones I do yeah four. just one regular four four packages makes a little one oh, well, two for a little one okay two but I do you normally make four for the holidays okay per, per cheese ball Four packs of cream cheese per cheese ball. Today she's making a little extra because it's for a wedding. So she's making two, two big ones. And you want to set this out and soften it, right? Yeah. Which it's not real warm in here, so... going to require some mixing. Yeah. So just make sure you set your uh, cream cheese out and let it soften. If not, you're going to require some mixing. I think it requires mixing regardless. Yeah, it requires mi mixing regardless. But Alright, I'll get bring you back when uh, it gets to the next step. So what are some of the other ingredients in the cheese ball? Cream cheese. Yep, we've corn, covered that. Corned beef or dried beef, whichever. And where does that go in it? Yes. It goes inside? Yeah. Oh. Cut it off. I thought it went on the outside. Ah, uh, you can put some on the outside. You can coat, roll up in it and coat it, but it goes inside too. And then the, and then what else? Onions. Onions. Cream and cheese. And about how many onions do you use per four packages? A full onion per four packages? And or I'm, more. Like, probably, I use almost two. Two onions per cheese ball. And how much uh, beef or dry beef? You can use dried beef or just one regular beef. I use one package of beef per package of cream cheese. And you just get the thin sliced packaged beef, right? Or yeah. you get the jarred. Or you can get the jarred. Dried beef. Dried, yes. But you want it real thin so you can mince it up. Yes. Okay. And anything else besides onions and what? Yes. What else? More sugar. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yes. Anything else? Garlic? No. Not garlic. Just Worcestershire sauce, onions, beef. Beef. Cream cheese. And cream cheese. That's it. Then I asked for olives. Yes. Boy, that is simple. Alright, she's going to get these chopped up. We'll show you what they look like when she gets them all done. Put it in there. Let's 
take about a quarter of this bowl. And uh, got them all cut up. Looks good. You gotta dice them up kind of small, you know, that way you don't have big chunks in your cheese bowl. This is the beef she's using, and she's gonna dice this up also. Uh, little squares, little chunks. She's gonna put it in the cheese ball, and then uh, when she gets the cheese balls done, she'll roll the cheese balls in this beef also, so it'll coat the whole outside. Okay, she's put this much in here with the onions. This will get mixed in with the cream cheese and the Worcestershire sauce. And then she's going to cut this up to roll the cheese balls in when she gets done making them. Now you can add whatever you want to the cheese balls. I like green olives in with mine. And some people don't. So she makes them with and then she makes some with olives for me. Alright, you want to open your uh, cream cheese and add it to your stuff you just chopped up. And uh, how much Worcestershire sauce per package? I always start with a tablespoon and a half per cream cheese. But you really want to do it to taste, so you got to have a taster. Have somebody taste it, but it's usually, yeah, I'm usually the taster. But uh, start out with about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half per package of cream cheese. And the other four here. So she had to put it in two bowls. Alright, got four and a half in that one. And four and a half tablespoons in that one. Now she's just got to mix it all together. Now once you've incorporated all your stuff together and you got it nice and even, you can form your balls. And uh, you usually uh, form a ball, whatever size you want, and then roll it in your extra beef. And then you're going to put it on a plate and serve it with crackers. Some good crackers are uh, Club Crackers, Ritz, or uh, Clubhouse. They also make uh, butter squares, butter rounds. Um, Triscuits would be okay, but I think uh, more of a buttery cracker is a lot better for this type of cheese ball. Alright, she's got it all pretty well mixed evenly. Now you taste it, and if it needs anything, you add it to it now before you form your bowls. <laughs> Onion. 
super good. I do want to say that Tammy's been making this cheese ball for 30 years now, and this is the most requested dish at all of our holiday di dinners and some weddings. We might not have bought enough beef. We're not used to making these bigger ones. The bigger ones. You gotta pull them with the stuff. Okay. Going into this mission, I think the man is Will. He wants to come across as a British on player and like he's putting money into the pot. That's good it's enough. Then she's gonna the add it to Saran wrap. He hit it when we told him that he wasn't. Yeah, we just wrap it up. Seal it up completely. And uh, form it into a ball. Stick it in the fridge. Get it out when you're ready to serve it. Now, normally this would have beef all over the outside, but you now some people put uh, nuts or whatever. But uh, we like putting beef on the outside. And there you go, Tammy's famous cheese balls. We hope you guys enjoy this. We hope you try it, make it for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and then uh, come back and let us know how you and your family enjoyed it. And let us know if you added anything to it. Sometimes we have added ranch or cheese or bacon or jalapenos. We've tried some different things. This is our favorite way to eat it. I'm sure it'll be a hit in your house, too. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all? You don't want to say anything about your cheese balls? I some, you already said Those are all. some good-looking cheese balls, babe. <laughs> all right, guys. Simple pleasures. Hard day, simple pleasures. We have got a treat from Iron Horse. And we have a... No, uh, no. Well... From our daughter. My daughter brought this from Iron Horse. She works there now. We have a review out about Iron Horse. We went and ate there a long time ago. It's in our restaurant reviews. But uh, these are fall flavored cheesecakes. And they're not pumpkin spice. This one's salted caramel apple cheesecake. It's like this. Mm, look how big that is. The apple inside there, pieces of apple, salted caramel, all over. Oh boy! That goes up there. And Tammy's got cherry walnut cheesecake. Got big old pieces of candy walnut, cherry drizzle. Looks like some cherries in the cheesecake. But well, we're gonna taste test this for you. Just for you guys, so you don't have to do it. For you, the people. Wait, 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 wait. Come over here. See what we see. Oh, look at this. Mm. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I think there's a little cinnamon in the crust, maybe. Mmm. That salted caramel is delicious. Tastes like butter. Mmm. Little apple pieces in there. Mmm. How's yours? Delicious. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago 